Another important interview question is the differences between the equal to operator, the double equals operator and the equals method when we compare objects. Let's take a look at the double equal to operator by creating two objects of user. Here we are creating two instances u1 and u2 of a class called user and setting the IDs to one and John. Both of them have the same ID and name but they have their own memory locations on the heap. Now if we use the double equal to operator to compare these two objects, it will return a boolean false because the double equals compares the object references or the memory locations and not the contents within the object. So you can call it a shallow comparison and not a deep comparison. Now if you use the equals method u1 dot equals u2 the equals method is available for every java class from the object class every class implicitly extends the object class and this equals method is derived or inherited from the object class the default implementation of the equals method uses the double equals operator so it is a shallow comparison by default so even this one this statement u1 dot equals u2 will return a false. We have to override the equals method in our classes, the user class, and provide the implementation to compare the ID and name. This is, there is an exception for strings, primitives, and enums. For the wrapper type strings and enums, the equals method is already overridden to do a deep comparison. For example, if we create two strings with the same contents ABC and ABC, S1 double equals S2 will return false because we are using a new operator to create a string. In both cases, they both have two different memory locations. This will return a false. But if we use the S1 dot equals S2, it will do a deep comparison because the equals method is overridden on a string class and it will return a true. Similarly, for the wrapper types int i1 equal to 1, 2, 3, integer i2 is equal to 1, 2, 3. If we do a i1 double equals i2, it will return a false. But if we do i1 dot equals i2, it will return a true. To summarize, the double equals operator compares or looks for the references or compares the references of two objects. By default, the equals method also does the same. We should override the equals method and do a deep comparison and return a boolean value on our own. For the string primitive types and enums, it, the equals method will do a deep comparison of the contents. 